On February 8, 2018, I had the painful responsibility of announcing the demise of Ebony Rains. Now, she'll be laid to rest tomorrow at the Osu Cemetery. Uh, she died with two others in an accident on the Sunyani Accra Road. Ahead of the burial, Mark Tulamothia of Entertainment Desk recounts events that took place following the news of her death. Dance hall artist Ebony Rains, born Priscilla Opoku Kwating, as you know already, is dead. Shocking. A fast rising star had fallen on the 8th of February 2018. Her father, Mr. Opoku Kwating, in spite of his pain, managed to speak to Joy News just hours after he lost his daughter. She left home on Thursday saying she was going to see the mom. Mom just returned from the United Kingdom and she said she was going to see her. I asked if she was driving because I was scared. It was late. Counselors' tributes poured in for the dance hall act, including one from President Nana Kufuado. A number of pastors, well, called them prophets, claimed they prophesied her death, but Reverend Lawrence Tete would have none of that. We should not throw words about to use this situation to score spiritual points or political points or biological points or superiority points. We should be very mindful. There must be some level of decorum. Ebony is dead, but the popularity of her manager, Bullet, grew bigger than ever before. From TV stations to radio stations, his voice was what many wanted to hear. I'm so keen, I'm going to find So I started praying, like, me and Pabo, me, bon Pabo, be more than one, one hour. From that day, I could not sleep. I prayed for more than an hour. Uh, Thursday. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Friday in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Me saw, I did see me, me, me saw phone. No. That is the Friday. Friday, no. Mm. Me so phone me home. Miss Cosne, baby, one billion. When I woke up, I missed a billion phone calls. Like, like what's wrong? Ebony's comfort as an artist on the Rough Town Records label was questioned after CEO of Xylophone Media, Nana Pia Mensa, alleged that the artist wanted to be free from Bullet and his team. Many were appalled by the CEO's tweet, with some accusing him of trying to seek attention. The Cooper hit me. There's more on this during the midday news, plus what that mortician who was accused of funding her has to say.